we're going. In this video, I'm gonna be going to Chick-fil-A in order to give away some food. But first, there's a story behind it that I really want to share with you guys. Right now, we raised about $3,000 and we're still about $5,000. So, I've been fundraising all of this year. I've been sending out letters, I've been knocking on doors, I've been pressure washing, I've been doing farm work, yard work, literally so much. And it's literally just God who has provided thing after thing for me to even be able to do. Some of that has been making videos and saying, hey guys, if y'all are willing, please donate to help me to be able to continue to do things like this. Now this is where the story comes in. I wrote a book called How to Talk to Girls and for some reason it does really well at Christmas time in the UK. I don't know why but uh, if you ever need any advice on how to talk to girls. <laughs> I made enough money from the book to cover two months of tuition. So I took this book money and I accidentally spent too much while I was in South Africa. I had this $8,000 goal, most of it's already been paid for, and I had about one more payment of $700 left. And I was like, okay, easy peasy. I mean, lemon squeezy, of course. When life gives you lemons, make lemon juice. Okay. You don't even have to have any sugar. I was literally cleaning through my desk and I found $200 that I had completely forgotten about, I just had tucked it away. I'm like, whoa, I deposited it whenever I got home in my bank and I realized, oh, I don't have enough. I, I need like maybe like a hundred more dollars. And so I was looking around in my room and for some reason, once again, apparently I'm really bad at math or hiding money for myself or something like that. I don't know. I found $85 in a filing cabinet that I have in my room. And this is from whenever I was fundraising over Christmas break. And it was just like, whoa, God, I have enough to pay for my entire tuition now. And so I go and I pay it off. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> whoa, because that's the moment I realized that I still had a whole nother month to pay for. And there was no way that I could make $700 in one week. That is until God provided it in 15 minutes. So I was like, okay, what should I do? And I was like, I, I just need to go pray. And then I, and then God just reminded me like, hey, go check some of places online and see if anybody else has donated anything. And I checked one place and realized I had completely forgotten about another book payment that I had. And that was like $600 right there. And I was like, no way, are you kidding me? And so I was like, this this might actually be enough. I mean, I, I might have to work a little bit to get that extra $100, but that's at least more doable than $700. And then I checked one more place. And Matthew, a subscriber from my YouTube channel, donated $50. It's officially paid for. And literally with that and the book money combined, I had $1 profit or extra from my total tuition cost, which is literally just so awesome and literally such a burden relieved and literally something that I can only praise the Lord for. And of course, thank you, Matthew. And thank you guys for literally just watching and sharing and literally just being a part of this. And literally, I just wanna praise the Lord for that. I just wanted to share the story of how God met a need in my life. And through that, with that extra dollar, my sister and I were talking at dinner last night. She's like, so what are you going to do with the extra dollar? What was I going to do now with this extra dollar? All right, so we're at Chick-fil-A and you may be wondering how in the world am I going to be paying for a whole Chick-fil-A meal with a dollar? I found some spare change. So yeah, we're, we're about to be paying with a bunch of dimes. Hopefully they're really nice about it. I do know them! He went to my high school. All right, moment of truth. Ra! 
Baba Danny Jr. Hey, What's up, Molino? Yeah. Good. It's gonna be 767. Okay, I'm sorry about this. Hi. It, <laughs> I'm buying it for <laughs> someone in need. Okay, you're good. Um. Okay. Debt is a cool feeling to have paid off, but it's even cooler knowing that it wasn't you that paid off the debt. We're going. We try to offer him a cheeseburger meal, and it turns out he was basically vegetarian. And that just kind of led to an interesting conversation of, honestly, it just really breaks my heart, but of literally just anything that we would try to ask or talk to him about, he would literally just reject it all. And so, because we still have the Chick-fil-A meal, I, I mean, I'm going to try to find someone else, but this food will only be hot and good for so long, so we've got limited time. Here I was, just searching for anyone that wouldn't reject me just so I could meet their need with literally all of the money that I had. This kind of reminds me of another need. For me, yeah, it was my tuition. But for everyone, it was our sin debt that Jesus took on onto the cross, died, and three days later rose from the grave having defeated death. We have the choice to choose whether or not to accept or reject that blessing. Now the question is, what are you going to do about it?